More than a million Arizonans are expected to travel this upcoming 4th of July holiday. And that is expected to break a new travel record for the state, according to AAA. News for Tucson's Gabriel Parrish is live at Tucson International Airport tonight with what you should know before taking off. Gabrielle. Sean, travelers should know that they need to be prepared by checking their flight status in advance. This comes as TIA officials here tell me that they've been checking the, checking the system to see that there have been many delays due to bad weather. Nationwide, we're expecting new records to be broken. More than 50 million people are expected to travel around the country for the 4th of July holiday, and that's coming from AAA. I got the chance to speak with a spokesperson for TIA to get a sense of what we can expect here. From this Wednesday through basically next Wednesday, about 60,000 people will be coming through the terminal. Uh, our highest day will be Friday. That's the busiest, going to be the busiest travel day, um, just under 10,000 people. And all in all, that's not too bad for us. AAA says more people will be traveling by sky this year compared to last year. The reason why airport officials say is that people are making up for lost time by not being able to travel during the pandemic. Yeah, there is still a lot of pent up demand for travel. Um, th there is more seats available and um, people are buying the seats. So the travel demand has really recovered and we're seeing it in terms of nationwide. Um, pretty much every flight is full and you're seeing a lot of things at capacity. So if you plan to travel by air, make sure you are checking your flight status through the airline's application and make sure you download it to check your flight in advance and to also check for delays. Reporting live from the airport, Tucson International Airport, excuse me, Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.